So have you ever felt that you're going through your day, you're going through the motions, but maybe you're rather numbed out? Maybe you don't feel as connected to people, situations, and you want to feel more connected to people, relationships, your pets, <laughs> um, all, all of that. And maybe you just kind of feel that you've missed out on something, that you're missing out on something during the day, and it is more mediocre than wonderful. It is more average than, you know, this is what we're talking about today. The reason I want to bring this to your attention is <clears throat> when you employ practical magic, you are a multi-sensory being. You're feeling into everything. Now, the reason I bring this to your attention is because I sadly missed out on <laughs> so much of these classes. Um, it certainly wasn't my upbringing. It was really, you know, people who feel a weak. If you show your emotions, you are weak. So this is why it is so important. Also knowing with the um, law of attraction, but we're going to go beyond the law of attraction today, in that you get what you think about. You get what you feel. It's what you are telepathically communicating with everyone else. This is almost what you magnetize to you. So this is really why I wanted to bring that to your attention today and talk about the practical magical ways of being able to create essential magnetic attraction to the people the situations that you want to that you want to create so this is a whole new way of looking at things and doing things and it's way way simpler and more fun in other words you spend half your time working doing marketing and selling and reaching out because you're just radiating what you need to radiate and people get you it's just like oh wow I get her she gets me and you've met your soul clients in conversations before you even meet them it's just a really juicy way of living and really a juicy way of just going forward so you may already be aware of a lot of people talk about gratitude practice or the practice of being thankful and all these kind of practices but maybe you're not feeling you're just going through the motions you're not feeling what it is that you're really grateful for well, yeah we can all make lists and we can write to our hearts content but if we're not connected to that i was having a conversation with my brother the other day and as i was doing that it was toing and froing on a very sort of like um, a shallow level and i realized there's no real connection here it's just hearsay it's just chit chat it's not really there's no depth to it and of course when you're a soul and a you know um a light worker a healer a therapist an entrepreneur and those kind of serving things you want to be connected to people that's what you're here for it's like i don't want empty conversations i don't want my work to be all about money it is far deeper than that and this is what i wanted to just demonstrate to you today. So, sometimes when we are in a connection, like my example with talking to my brother, and I mean this has definitely been my experience with my, my family, you're on this, what I would call a flat line. There's no connection. There is no resonance between you. So in other words, you don't really get each other, you're just saying words. It's, it's, it's a very simple level of communication. But when you want to really get someone, when you really want someone to get you, there's a much more connected way of doing this. Now, I personally call this soul to soul. This is going further than NLP or EFT or all those methodologies. This is when you really get it. And this is when you start to meet the clients and you can run the dream business and you're creating things and you're just in awe of every single thing that's kind of like falling in your lap. One of the things I wanted to bring your attention to today was research. Now, research shows the electrical field of your heart has 60 times more, they call it amplitude, than the electrical, electrical activity of your brain. We don't reach other people with our brain. This is intellect. We reach people with our hearts. 
there's hearts and minds, but we reach people with that. The field measured in the form like your ECG can be detected anywhere on the surface of the body. Furthermore, the magnetic field produced by the heart is a hundred times greater in strength than what can be generated by your brain. Now, the Heart Institute, Heart Map, Heart Map Institute, they say like you can be detected from three feet away. But I would have to disagree with that. I would say that you can be detected. I can tune into you wherever you are in the world. And I know people who are doing this to do with animal communication or anything, you don't need to be physically with the person in the same room to be connected to them. We know that we can empathically pick up information, but we can also pick up information globally, way, way, way around, around the globe. So this is your biomagnetic communication, as HeartMath would call it. This is what their research is all about. Whereas I'm com communicating soul to soul with someone. In other words, the interaction between two human beings, such as a consultation, um, whether it's clinical or just between friends, it's, it's a very sophisticated dance between some subtle factors. And if you're anything, to, if you know anything about NLP and things like that, you'll understand it's to do with facial movements, the tone of your voice, gestures of the body movements, those kind of things. Often you can hear in somebody's voice if they're blocked or they don't want to talk about something. You are naturally picking up a lot of that information all of the time. This is the electromagnetic field, the energetic communication that we are conscious of in our bodies. We feel that. Your body is not just something to be admired. It is absolutely a finely tuned receiver and transmitter of what you're trying to sort of get out there or what you're trying to receive. You can pick that up. So like, you know, if you trust your intuition, when someone has said something and it feels off, then it is absolutely off. If you want to know a really great story about smelly vision this week, and how my intuition was telling me that's a scam, don't go down that way, that's a scam, because she gave me the smell of like smelly, smelly feet every single time I asked a question about what do I do about this, is this a scam? Boom! I would, I would have this sort of smelly vision. So this is how our intuition works. Data strongly suggests that the energetic system contributes magnetic attraction or repulsion that happens between individuals. And that can also just be to do with the fact of like, what's your intention behind why you're doing what you're doing? Between, you know, what's the, what's the communication that you're trying to get over? Is it just buy from me, buy from me, somebody buy from me? You will see that when you go on certain um, groups and things like that, you'll just kind of go, oh God, I just, it just feels wrong. I, I can't be here. I can't be looking at this information coming from this person because their intention is rather kind of squiffy. It's off. It's not really sincere. Now, sincerely, when we have our um, communication that is, that is met and we are connected with someone, you're not flatlining. You are connecting with someone on a very real, sincere basis. I wanted to show you just a very quick picture of something that came off the HeartMath um, website that I did today. And this is when somebody is flatlining. In other words, there's no contact at all between the two people. There's just, no, I don't mean physical contact. I mean, this is what they're talking about. When they say, you can hold someone's hand. And then this is, this is the reaction that starts. But when you're flatlining, it's a dead communication. There's nothing really going on. So yes, you can have communication like this. And yes, you can have communication in this way, when somebody feels you, when you know somebody really gets you, and that's when the communication is of quality and it is compassionate, you're being empathic, you understand, you're really listening. When I learned my coaching, there was like three, they talked about three levels of, of listening. Of course, there are way more than that, especially when you talk about intuitively listening to somebody. So like whatever's happening in your body, you know whether that's the communication from you or the communication from someone else. It's like, well, that's not me, so that must be them. 
this is a really deep way of listening and it's a, there's a very nice image here of a boy with his dog so the very first part is when the boy is in a separate room to his dog then look at between the boy and the dog when they're actually together they're synced they're actually in sync they're really enjoying each other's company and then he leaves the room again and you can see you can see the difference what happens within the heart itself so the connection the connection between you and someone else is so intrinsic in what you want to be able to put out there um, my main reason for coming here today is just saying what you radiate what you're transmitting is really really important if you could be in love with your work with your clients with what's around you you are on a completely different vibration but then if you could actually soul to soul connect with someone and be able to hear what they're saying this is you being soul assisted so that you are open you're receiving openly the information that's coming between you and it's behind the words and it's everything is a message you you notice something and you're intuitively being able to respond in exactly the way that that person needs you to respond not just as a therapist but as a mum as a mum you know that you are connected to your children you're connected to your partner and you are able to feel what's going on if somebody's really irritated and not able to sort of settle down you can feel it in your body so this is just taking this a few advanced steps further forward so that you can actually get this to do with running your business as well so that you can actually hear your business calling you and telling you exactly what needs to be done for your clients where you need to be where you need to set yourself up this is radiating soul to soul and communicating soul to soul in other words if you're disconnected you will feel it in your body you will see things going wrong in your environment not just to do with your business will flatline your relationships will flatline you'll be going through your life on mediocre you'll be just everything will be average it won't be awesome brilliant and opportunities won't be falling in it'll be very separate and very you're like one step back you're being a wallflower you're just watching what's going on to get engaged with your business is to really have communication with your business now you can talk to your business you can talk to the soul of your clients everything has a voice and everything is a message to you to get you exactly where you need to be so the story I have that relates to this, so like opening your heart and radiating, is a kind of a fun story in the fact that when I was looking to get a new partner, yes, I had all the things that I wanted to see in a partner, the same as you can do with your business or with your children, what relationships you want to change, what are all the, all the elements that would just make your heart sing. So I had this list. And then what came into my mind was, I don't just want that. I want, I want, what is it that I want? And I was given the phrase, better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And I was like, wow, I wonder if I've ever really felt love in that way before. I want to amplify what I'm able to feel. I want to experience everything that there is that's available. So I became aware of how open I was to love so when I met my partner not very long after deciding that I was committed to that I was committed to better to have loved and lost than never to have experienced love at all so you could do that for your business better to have had a thriving successful business that you love than never to have ex you know exceeded your expectations or you know just get out of the mediocre this is why i do what i do because when i feel someone's energy is mediocre or turned off or disconnected it's heartbreaking i can feel the soul of the person just going seriously is that it seriously so 
going back to the relationship when I wanted to introduce myself to my partner and this whole love experience when I when I opened up to that my heart broke open it was like oh my god I don't think I can handle it I've, I've never really felt this much love before I'm a little bit scared and I shut it all down I shut it all down again but this time it hurt it hurt not to be that open to love and every single day I make the commitment to be open to experience more love and what changes everything changes relationships with your children change relationships with your clients change relationships of course with your partner change your business your house i mean i love my house and i tell my house frequently i love you i love living in this house and opportunities arrive and things get sorted out so much easier because I'm in that open, radiating love energy and I'm communicating telepathically with my partner, with my children, with my pets in this mode. So it's just so much easier. It's effortless. And this is practical magic. This is allowing practical magic into e infused into every single thing that you have in your day, you have in your life because it's just so much more fun to live like that. This is a new normal, a new normal way of doing things. I have soul to soul conversations with people who are in business, who get intuitive, inspirational ideas just because we're open to receiving in that way. So I wonder if you can handle that. I wonder if you can open your doors even just a little bit further. <coughs> open those doors, let them creak open just a little bit more so that you can just let more into your heart, just experience more. Whatever level your business is at, there's always more. There's always more. And as a mother, you can always experience more love. This has been a huge journey for me to experience love, even love of my kids even more. And my business has been the biggest spiritual teacher for me on this journey so far about where love comes from, what love's all about. Um, I had to focus on my natural ability to be able to pick up my instincts and kind of go, mm, that doesn't feel very good. I can be more loving in this situation. I can open my doors to that, especially when I got stepchildren. I was like, mm, but they're not mine. To be more open and more open to just seeing where I was shutting down my availability to love, to being a soul, to soul communicating with everything and everyone in my particular vicinity. When we're allowing soul to come all the way through, we are feeling really much more confident and strong, very conscious of what's on in our environment and we're able to communicate on a completely different level. We can hear soul communication from our clients, we can hear soul communication from our family, we can hear soul communication from our environment, our house, our car. We get signs in everything. It is a message, every single thing is a message to our soul about how much more incredible life could be. If you're ready to learn how to be telepathically, soul-to-soul -soul communicated with, I have created a soul-assisted school purely so that we can learn how to open up and be more sensitive to what's going on around us because we're not meant to be shut off from this world. We're not meant to be closed, disconnected, sick, having accidents, all these kind of things, having low you know income levels we're supposed to experience decadence we're supposed to experience opulence and have all the sparkle in the life that's that's available to us you know this is practical magic this is what i so strongly love and believe in and i know that when i'm shut off to it nothing's working at all so i'm fiona robertson I'm an agent for your soul. I'm helping you get in touch with the soul of your clients, 
so that you can hear precisely and exactly what they're calling for you to produce and help them receive. Um, I love doing this Practical Magic show, so thank you very much. I'm honoured that you're here listening and you're taking part. If you want to know any more information, then connect with me, soul to soul.